Hi, thank you for joining me today for my second process video using Pink Paisley Joyful Notes for the Hey Little Magpie design team. Today I'm documenting a 4x4 photo of my family watching the Eurovision Song Contest. Um, we'd set up for the evening and I was chatting to my friend Julie on Facebook and uh, Messenger and I said I'd send her a quick pic. So this is the face that I got from them all. <laughs> They were happy, but they just looked miserable in this picture. But I wanted to document it anyway, so that's what I'm doing. So you can see I've used one of the Hey Little Magpie dies, the film strip die, to create that vertical strip behind the photo. And now I'm just going through the 6x8 paper pad to choose some bits and pieces to add as mats behind the photo. So first of all, I matted it onto some scrap white cardstock just to provide that white border uh, that makes the photo pop a little bit. And then I've used that pink floral piece as a main mat and then I'm just finding some other little bits and pieces from the pad this navy blue piece is just a little bit left over from a previous layout and then there's that lovely um, ledger paper piece which would normally be used as a journaling spot but I thought it looked really nice behind the photo and then I wanted to bring some of the green in so I've just chosen this daisy paper I'm just going to run that across the bottom so that sort of completes the second mat but out of mismatched pieces so I'm just going to add those to the base and then distress the edges before carrying on. And there's a lot of this video that I've left in to show you that things don't always work out quite how you wanted them to, but there's, it's never an issue. You can just try again. <laughs> so I'm just, as I say, distressing the edges using that Tim Holtz edge distresser. Um, trying not to waste my time distressing the bits that are going to be hidden by the photo but inevitably <laughs> I forget and just go around the whole piece but I've managed to do it on that piece so now this blue piece I just need the two edges really and sticking that down and I want it to be just below that pale blue piece so just a tiny bit poking out around the sides and this green piece of it um, originally I do add the whole six inch width onto it. But when I've got it down, I decide that I don't want quite that much of it showing. I don't need that much poking out of the left hand side. So I trim that down. And when I've done that, I realize that I need to trim the bit from the right hand side as well. It just looks better to me if um, being slightly smaller than the blue ledger paper at the top. So you can see I'm just fiddling and trying to decide. I'm determined to have that film strip die on a slight angle and I've also pulled out this die cut piece from the ephemera pack that says let's celebrate. I will add a little bit more to that title with my own letters but that's what I'm starting with and this is where I just trim those other bits off. So just using my fingernails to distress the tiny bits that are showing and then that's the title. So now I want to bring in some border dies again from Hey Little Magpie exclusive dies. So I'm just cutting a piece of that navy blue paper and then I've run that through the brand new um, borders that we've got in the shop now. They went live last night and then I wanted to add some pieces of paper to go behind that. So again using the 6x8 paper pad just cutting a piece of this scripty paper and then I'm going to find another piece to layer underneath that. So I think about that piece there which is the ideal size but I didn't want another blue piece. I want to bring in some more colours today. So I go for this um, floral piece instead. So I'm just going to glue what I can down. So just adding this title to the actual photo. I'm not going to stick it down to the background because I do want to add a little bit of mixed media. So just working out where these papers are going to go. I want to roll up those torn edges and then using my ATG just to stick that down. I know a lot of people are fans of ATG and if you weren't aware, we do sell the Stix2 brand of ATG tape, which is absolutely brilliant. That's the one that I use in my ATG gum. So just positioning that second piece, I couldn't decide whether to align it to the left or the right, but in the end decided that it looked better on the right. I think it would have looked just as good to the left, but um, for whatever reason, <laughs> that looked better to my eye. So now getting this border stuck down, you've seen I just tore the edge, the end off because I only wanted um, it to be just slightly wider than the photo for this piece, but I will add some more borders shortly. So just getting that adhered down. Checking that all the edges are distressed. 
just using my fingernail of course and then I'm going to come in with my mixed media. So I've pulled out my Lindy's Magicals and I've got this, I think it's called Sea Green. And um, I've decided that I'm going to take it straight to the paper. So I've just spritzed a bit of water onto the cardstock and then I'm going to use a paintbrush to flick these particles on. But when I do that and then come in with the um, packaging, the mica powders, I hadn't realized just how many colors this one was made up of and there's a lot of red and pink in it and it was just too prominent. I wanted it to be more of a green color. So in the end, I go back to my regular way of using Lindy's. So I've just added it to my mat, mixing it really well so that those red particles don't show again. And then I'm going to smush it onto my background using the packaging. And I just really want it to be to the left of that Let's Celebrate title and a little bit further up. So I'm just bringing in, in the packaging, realize that it's too thick. <laughs> I need to add more water. So I'm just going to spritz that with my water shortly, just to water it down a bit and enable me to spread it a little bit further. There we go, that's much better. And I'm getting the differentials of color there. So darker underneath where the photo is gonna be and lighter out towards the edges, which is what I want. Just concentrating on that bottom bit because I don't want a flat line, even though well, now I'm looking at the finished layout, almost all of this is covered as per usual. <laughs> and I thought I'd actually added more than I normally do as well, but just showing you how I clear up just with a quick quick paper towel, um, wiping off that packaging to use again, and I managed to knock my mat. So I do apologize, the rest of this, the mat is actually at a wonk. <laughs> so just bringing that back in to check where I want to add my stamping, because I want to add some of these faux stitching pieces from um, Stampers Anonymous with Tim Holtz. These are also in the shop if you're interested. And uh, I just want to add a strip above, in between that um, film strip die. And then I'm going to add another strip over to the left to create like a reverse L. Even when I try and do something a bit different, I tend to end up <laughs> using this um, design. I suppose we all have our go-tos, don't we? Even when we're not intending to do something. So we've got one stitch piece going up through that film strip and then this piece is just going to go out to the left here and then when I add that I feel that it looks very lonely so I'm going to actually add some more um, die cuts so I get the bumpy border set and just cut out from that floral piece and I'm going to add that but it was too long so I've just again torn the end off and I'm going to put this down here using my t-square ruler to check that it goes down straight and then the other piece, I shall use the reverse, which is that lovely pale blue scripty paper. So it works really nicely overlapping the first piece. So there's the first piece down. Just going to make sure it sticks. Obviously with that mixed media, it's a it takes a little bit more to get it to grip to the card. And then here's that second piece. I was thinking about adding it to the right there next to the um, film strip, but in the end I do add it to the left. So just getting this stuck down, using my T-square to make sure that the bottom of the photo is level because I've got that film strip off at an angle. So I just want to make sure that I am sticking it straight onto the page. And this is where I bring that bumpy border back in and add it down above that first one. And I offset them because I like the way that looks. So now I'm coming in with some really old um, alphabet stickers from my stash. These are Adornit ones that we sold years and years ago, back when I was Sarah's Cards. Um, they're still brilliant for adding little bits and pieces. So I just wanted to add Eurovision at the bottom of that Let's Celebrate. And now I'm going to go through the 6x12 sticker sheet just to see if there are any little scattering pieces. And there are some great hearts. I'm just going to scatter around the page along with some of these circular floral pieces. So just checking that that film strip is stuck down because of course I added HEG tape to the back of the photo but not actually to the um, overhanging pieces so to speak. So I'm going to come in with my journaling now and it just reads what I said at the beginning really. It says I said I wanted to send a quick photo to Auntie Julie to show her we were Eurovision ready and this is what I got. They were happy honest. <laughs> so some more hearts just for, as I say for scattering pieces just to add about the page. And then a ribbon loop for using this lovely black gingham ribbon, which I love on my layouts, just to the right there. 
and then I'm going to go through some of my bits and pieces in my drawers. Um, we sell loads of gorgeous bits and pieces of Hey Little Magpie. This is one of the padded stars. So I'm just going to add that there. And create a little bit of a cluster down here. So there's that one there. And then, um, of course, a tab to add my date on. And that was just using my EK Success Punch um, tab punch to create that. Just messing about with that floral sticker to get that in the right place. And then this is another bits and pieces. It's one of the flower labels. So just going to stick that around the photo next to that black and white loop. I do move the black and white loop down a little bit just to give some separation between the two. And then this is where I'm going to add this tab, moving that floral down a little bit behind it. And then this is one of our tweed dots, again from the Bits and Pieces collection. And then into the ephemera packs. There are two packs mixed together here. And straight away this vellum flower catches my eye because vellum on um, pages really does add texture and dimension. If you just add your glue in the centre of the piece the vellum starts to curl up and it really creates a beautiful texture. So I've just done that and looking through to see what else I can find and I find this little bird and I think that'll be really nice on the right hand side there so just adding that just overlapping ever so slightly at the bottom of the photo where there's nothing going on in that photo so it doesn't matter that it's overlapped. A little die cut floral and then I realised I haven't added my date, so I'm just going to go in with my roller date stamp onto that um, tab at the top. There we go, just trimming it nice and close so that it fits neatly inside that tab. And that's the roller date stamp that we sell at Hey Little Magpie as well. There we go. And then I just spot this little piece. It's a tiny piece of one of those ledger papers that come in the six by eight paper pad. I must have trimmed it off a layout previously. It has reed on the top. I think it said reed, which obviously I don't want to show. So I just turn it upside down. So that's hidden behind the bird's wing. And then that just adds a nice little layering piece there. And then I wanted to add a little bit more on this right hand side. So I reach into my pouch of pre-cut die cut pieces and these are the floral die cut dies that we sell at Hey Little Magpie. This is the daisy and i um, just going to stick that down just a tiny dot of glue along the stem and then um, the next one that I pull out is one of the wildflowers and they're both cut from um, 49 and Market papers which lend themselves really well to these dies. So just going to tuck that in and then stick that down as well. Just feeding that um, stem down behind the die cut the die cut film strip frame <laughs> and that's it thank you so much for joining me i really hope you've enjoyed it do um ask if you have any questions at all i'm always happy to help and i'll see you again soon bye